in Warren County that briefly moved into McDuffie County, but luckily uh, did not see any injuries or fatalities like they did see around Atlanta. And a little bit calmer outlook as we head into tomorrow. We do have a cold front moving in on Thursday, but luckily not expecting severe weather for a third week straight. So good news there. We do have cloudy conditions though, and these clouds are going to stick with us this evening into tonight. Temperatures are warmer than average. We're hitting the mid 60s right now this afternoon. If you have any plans, we'll hang on to the clouds, but luckily not much rain or forecast through the overnight hours. We're going to stay in the low 60s up until around midnight and then heading into tomorrow. It looks like the biggest concern with this cold front moving in is just going to be some very gusty winds. We could actually see wind gusts up to and possibly over 30 miles an hour at times as we head after lunchtime tomorrow. Overall rain chances don't look uh, to be a huge concern for us, especially in the morning hours before lunchtime. Just a very low chance of maybe a sprinkler or two as we head towards lunchtime, especially later into our Thursday afternoon. That's when that main front is going to arrive. That's when it's going to be gustiest with those wind gusts up to 30 miles an hour and then possibly seeing a stray shower, but overall not looking like everybody is going to see rain from that uh, front moving through Thursday afternoon. By the time we get to around 7, 8 o'clock tomorrow, all that rain is out of here and then we are going to dry out Thursday night all the way into our Friday. You can see there is a severe weather threat though across the Mississippi Delta all the way to Memphis and uh, they are tracking the chance possibly for a few spin up tornadoes ahead of that front. Luckily for us here locally, we're just not going to have those severe weather ingredients heading into our Thursday. Here's a closer look at the two state though. So between say Atlanta and Columbus, there is a quick wave of showers just kind of moving south to north. Maybe a few sprinkles here around Wrightsville and Johnson County, Washington County, not ruling out that maybe there's a couple raindrops out there this evening, but just looks to be a low chance for most of us. You can see the cloud cover will be pretty steady into the overnight. We'll wake up generally mid to upper 50s by early tomorrow morning. Our temperatures are going to be warm with those winds pumping out of the southwest up to 30 miles an hour at times. It's going to be drawing in that much warmer air, so we should actually see our high temps hit the mid 70s and then there you go. That is the dying front just bringing us a low chance possibly for a quick passing shower. Once again, not expecting uh, severe weather. Thankfully, all that moves east of us once we move past a couple of hours after sunset tomorrow back to a little bit cooler, more seasonal outlook by Friday. We'll wake up in the 40s and in the afternoon generally into the mid to low 60s. Here's your day planner on Thursday. Cloudy skies through most of it. Temperatures will be feeling warmer. We'll actually hit the 70s tomorrow afternoon and those winds definitely will be gusty. So make sure you're avoiding the lake if you can, especially in those smaller crafts. So not the best day to take the kayak up to the lake. And also remember our high profile vehicles, uh, 18 wheelers, UPS trucks, FedEx trucks. These type of winds can definitely move them around on the roadway. So just a heads up, give those vehicles plenty of room out there. But there you go. Future wind gusts anywhere from around 30, 35 miles an hour times tomorrow afternoon. So definitely a windy outlook for us into the weekend. We are tracking our next chance for some heavy rain to show up by Sunday. We'll have a little bit more on that weekend rain chance towards the end of the show. Thanks, Riley. Budget talks continue.